One of the things that I really like about what we've been able to do with WolfQuest Anniversary Edition is have more dynamic weather and along with that, more dynamic change of seasons. Now in the Amethyst map, this has not been a complete thing. We have increasing chances of snow, decreasing chances of rain over the course of the fall going into winter. If it does snow because it's colder, snow sticks on the ground longer, things like that. But we never get into that deep winter look. And we've always been planning to add a proper winter season to Amethyst. And uh, we're finally doing that now. Partly for Amethyst and partly because that becomes really important in Slough Creek. Because in Slough Creek you start, it's early February, you have to establish a territory. It's deep winter there. And then as spring comes along you have to find a den and then of course you have pups and then everything melts and it's green and beautiful. So we've been working on several fronts to get all this working. And this includes having a new winter season um, that gets activated in Amethyst in December. And, and here you can see how that looks. The snow is deeper, so there's no grass. So it has that nice, clean, white, beautiful, stark feeling of, of wintertime. So this is still in development. We're working on um, footprints in the snow, which uh, we've been wanting to do for <laughs> since release, but just haven't gotten to it. We would love to have the animals make trenches in the snow, in that deep snow, because that really is often the case. But there are just some technical issues with that that we've looked at it from different angles and are just preventing us from tackling that right now. So we hope that'll change in the future, but for now, it's pretty hard packed snow, and so all the animals walk on top of it. And with that deeper snow, a lot of that ground clutter in the forest is completely hidden. Those saplings are just poking up above the snow cover. The boulders are half buried in snow. And it'll be similar in Slough Creek. But along with these environmental changes, there's also other changes, of course. We already have some of those, like the snowshoe hair. Actually, we had this working and then apparently it broke at some point. So that'll be working again. It's got a brown coat in the summer, kind of a, uh, a fading coat in the fall, and then a white coat in the winter. And that will look even nicer against this pure white snow. But there is another big one that we are setting up now, and that's the elk migration. In the late fall, the elk migrate down from the, the high grazing lands where it has all the good grass in the summer and fall. They migrate down into the valleys. And many elk actually migrate on down the valley and out of Yellowstone, but some stay in the park. And so we've got this set up now. So the elk have their summer grazing grounds up in the highlands, and then they've got basically destinations that they will migrate down to in late November and December and spend the rest of the winter down there in the Lamar Valley. And if you're paying attention, you might, you might see them migrate. It's not quite as dramatic as those African migrations, but they still, when they realize the time is right, start heading down there. And uh, if you don't notice it and you're up in the highlands, you will <laughs> start to have a hard time finding elk to eat. And you'll have to follow them down and spend the rest of the season down there. This also comes into play in Slough Creek because the elk are in the valley in the winter when you're establishing your territory, but then they migrate up in April and May. They migrate up into the higher elevations where the grass is greening up and, and uh, tasty to eat. And you'll need to adjust your territory to make sure that uh, there are some elk herds in your territory. And that'll be something to think about when you are choosing a, your den site. There's going to be many choices of den sites and you'll want to think about proximity to the elk herd, proximity to water, and uh, a couple other factors when you're making that choice. We're setting up other changes too, like the all the male ungulates are going to be losing their antlers. The elk keep them through the winter. They don't lose them until March. So you won't see bare-headed bull elk until late winter, early spring in Slough Creek, but mule deer and moose lose them in December. So you'll see them if you stay around in Amethyst well into the winter, you'll see them running around with no antlers on their heads. Might be a little easier targets for hunting. So all this is still in development, um, but coming soon in the next couple of weeks. Oh, and of course, one of the biggest seasonal changes is in the springtime when all the babies arrive. But they're not quite ready to show yet. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channel for more sneak peeks of Slough Creek and WolfQuest Anniversary Edition coming in the future. Mm -hmm.